Four best friends go on a hot trip where things get really wild. Hey guys, welcome back to Flicks Recap. My name is Luke Pelletier and today we'll be covering the 2017 comedy Girls Trip. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to Flicks Recap. And as a quick reminder, this video contains spoilers, so you have been warned. The movie starts with the backstory of four best friends who were known in high school as the Flossy Posse. We're introduced to our main characters, Sasha, a successful journalist turned gossip column blogger, Dina, a risk taker with reckless abandon, Lisa, the mother in the group and divorcee, and Ryan, a successful high rolling author with a white picket fence life and husband to boot. Despite being together all the time while growing up and having experienced life-changing moments together, the squad eventually loses touch as their lives take different directions. One day, Ryan is in the middle of a photo shoot when the sight of a lady and her best friend makes her feel reminiscent of the flossy posse days. Just then, Ryan's assistant disrupts her train of thought. Her assistant informs her that she has been chosen as the main speaker at an event by a popular magazine. Ryan suddenly has an idea. Driven by her newfound nostalgia, she thinks this is the perfect opportunity for the Flossy Posse to get together again. She decides to invite all of them to the event and makes all the arrangements. As everyone prepares for the trip ahead, Sasha negotiates her way through a deal with a client. She hopes the weekend of fun with the girls will give her some good content for her website. Apparently, she's in a tight spot right now, so she really needs some good content for more viewership and exposure. Lisa, on the other hand, is having separation anxiety and is obsessing over her kid's schedule while she's away. Dina is ready for a good time, as always. Ryan and her husband Stuart, who are a rather famous couple, score two major deals with a clothing line and TV network show thanks to their naive and bubbly assistant. The squad meets for the first time in a long time at the airport. Dina has decided to make the most of this weekend, so she snuck some devil's lettuce where the sun doesn't shine to get it past airport security. It appears that Ryan and Sasha are not on friendly terms, but they still act friendly towards each other for the sake of the squad. They all arrive at New Orleans, where there's a street party in full swing. As Ryan is distracted taking pictures with fans, Sasha receives a picture which is rather upsetting. It involves Ryan's husband, Stuart, locking lips with some other woman. Remember, Sasha's in the gossip business, so she was able to get this exclusive picture through her sources. The crew sees it and decides to keep it from Ryan for now and wait for some better time to break the news. Dina, however, is not very good at keeping her lips shut, and unable to keep the news to herself, blurts out that Stuart is having an affair with an Instagram model named Simone. Ryan does not seem surprised. She tells the ladies that she's known about the affair for a while, and that she and Stuart are in couples counseling. However, Sasha is still worried because the picture had been taken the previous night. Which means Stuart is still unfaithful. Outraged, Dina and the crew find Stuart, and Dina nearly attacks him with a bottle of champagne. She does, however, get a punch in. Later, Ryan and Stuart discuss Stuart's recurring issue of having a hard time keeping it in his pants. Things go from bad to worse when Ryan and the ladies are kicked out of the five-star hotel, forcing them to settle for a dingy room in a random motel. That night, they get ready to go to the opening night concert for the event. Lisa is far from appealing with her outfit, so the squad makes it their mission to upgrade her to help end her dry spell. It's makeover time. As the Flossy Posse is mingling at the party, Sasha runs into an old acquaintance, Miss Vanziant, a celebrity she had written an unflattering story about. Miss Vanziant confronts Sasha about the scandalous blog post she'd written about her. The argument becomes so heated that even Ryan tries to subtly warn Sasha to stay low in case she makes the other guests feel uncomfortable because of her work. Of course, Sasha doesn't take kindly to Ryan not taking her side, but actually telling her to stand down. An argument nearly ensues between the two, but Lisa intervenes in the nick of time. Meanwhile, Dina is making the most of the opportunity and is busy trying to force celebrities to take photos with her. Ryan and Dina then run into Julian, an old college friend who has aged like fine wine and is now a musician participating at the event. Okay guys, quick pause to remind you to comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. On with the recap. The night is progressing pretty well, and the Flossy Posse is having the time of their lives. Even Lisa has finally gotten her groove back. However, that doesn't last very long, since together with Dina they spray the crowd with an unwanted shower after they've had too much to drink, and can't hold it in while ziplining over a crowd. Julian is right there with them, and when Ryan tries to make a move on him, he notices she's drunk and stops her. 
He then volunteers to take them back to their motel room, but when she sees where they're sleeping, he gives up his room in a nice hotel so that the ladies can have a better place to sleep. So, Julian is good looking and a gentleman. The book signing event is the next day, and Ryan arrives with a terrible hangover. The ladies, however, are enjoying their breakfast back at the hotel, where Dina shows them a rather odd looking grapefruit trick she knows to keep things steamy in the bed. Sasha and Lisa cannot believe what they're looking at, and to be honest, neither can I. Moving on, they all arrive at the convention and are having a wonderful time, despite Sasha's landlord issuing her an eviction notice since she can't pay anymore. Ryan and Stuart are keeping up with appearances as they show an audience how to cook a certain recipe, but then Stuart's side piece Simone shows up. The speaker just then opens the floor for any questions and unknowingly picks her to come to the front. Sensing danger, the flossy posse springs into action and also go to the front to help defuse a situation that might get ugly. Rather upset, Ryan goes away and Sasha finds her while she's having a moment to herself. Sasha suggests for her to be the one to leak the picture of Stuart on her website if no one else has the photograph. She tells her that that way they can contain the situation better as opposed to a different tabloid website finding out and writing whatever they want however they want to. However, we don't know if she truly does this out of friendship or because she needs some hot gossip to pay her rent. Meanwhile, Dina goes into town for a stroll and a drink and meets a street vendor selling absinthe. He warns her to use it over five years because that stuff is strong, but Dina is hell-bent on finishing the bottle by the end of the trip. She whips up some cocktails and adds the magic potion to them as they get ready to go to a concert Julian is playing at. What Dina didn't know was that Ryan had to meet up with a woman to discuss some business details. So Ryan goes to the meeting and just then the tsunami from the spiked cocktails made by Dina earlier kicks in. After a lot of tripping, and believe me, a lot of tripping, the girls save Ryan from her table and decide to hit a club and dance off the high. Adorned in colorful wigs for disguises, they set off to the nearest club. They check into the club, determined to dance off the effects of the magic potion. While at the club, they run into Stuart's side piece, and she has the nerve to spark a dance-off between her crew and the Flossy Posse. Does that actually happen? Do people actually have dance-offs at clubs? Anyway, Simone is determined to have her way. While the squad is having shots at the bar after the dance-off, Simone goes to stir trouble. And so a bar fight starts, and all hell breaks loose. It gets so wild that the cops show up, but the Flossy Posse manages to escape just when they arrive. Julian, who saw a video Ryan had posted in which they were all drunk and had mentioned him, is ready to pick them up and take them away from the now cop-filled place. Ryan and Julian, who actually had history from the past, almost make out, but they stop themselves before it's too late. Meanwhile, the pressure is mounting on Sasha to break a big story that could save her career and her house. The next day, Ryan and the ladies go to see Julian at concert. When they're having a blast, Simone shows up uninvited and tells Sasha that she's pregnant with Stuart's baby. This is the big scoop she was looking for. After Stuart finds out, because apparently he didn't know, he manages to talk Simone out of leaking the story to the press and gets her to sign an NDA. But just as things are looking up, the story leaks to the press and the Flossy Posse has a fallout. Ryan blames Sasha for leaking the story and they get into a big altercation. Things are not looking up for the girls. To save her public image, Ryan's manager suggests that she and Stuart deny the news and say that the picture of him locking lips with Simone is fake. Ryan decides to go ahead with this deal even though it's all a lie. On the other hand, Sasha has thought a lot about her actions. She hosts a live video on her website apologizing to those that she's hurt and confirms that she's shutting down her hot gossip site. Dina and Lisa reunite and manage to stop Sasha in time before she leaves town. They head out to the center where Ryan is set to give her big speech. Although Ryan has prepared a convincing take with her agent, Dina, Lisa, and Sasha walk in just in time, and Ryan has second thoughts and decides to tell the audience about her husband's affair. She explains that she had convinced herself that being disrespected was better than being alone. Now she knows that being alone is not so bad, and that there's a certain power in rediscovering her own voice and finding out who she was before her marriage. She ends her speech beautifully and walks away to a cheering crowd, reclaiming her power like a boss. Have your trips with friends ever turned out like this? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for the next recap. Until next time.